if you feel like you have no one else to talk to, then there is always God. If you feel that situation where you don't have anyone, then there is God to tell, like, your problems to. Hold up. Hello, my beautiful family. Welcome back to my channel. I hope your weekend's been great. And I'm back with another verse. If you are new, I'm so glad you're here. It's great to meet you, great to see you. And it would make me so happy if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more so I can see you on Wednesday and in my future videos. Before I start my verse, I have shout outs for you guys. So from Instagram, we have Leo Kahari. I hope, you're, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. From Twitter, we have Kayla Kempers. From YouTube, we have Hey It's Leah. Thank you guys so much for all that you do, liking my pictures, watching my videos. Just thank you so much for all of your support. So today's verse is a long one, but it is a good one, so let's get right into it. So the verse is 1 Peter 1, 7. These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. And then the quote I found that kind of goes along with this is, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Wow, the subject of anxiety. Something I'm definitely gonna feel as I go into my finals week and if you guys have testing coming up, um, you know how I feel, that anxiety of wanting to get a good grade and just making people proud, making yourself proud and um, remember, also, you are making God proud. He sees all the hard work you put into it. And also just trials and hard times in general. Um, you are proving that your faith is genuine when you are sticking with God through those hard times and you are praying to Him because He is there for you. Um, he wants to help you through these moments. Some of them are tests and um, yes, hard times, um, trials, tribulations happen to everyone. Everyone goes through them. And I think the one thing that keeps me sane and um, usually lowers my anxiety level is just praying to God, kind of just like talking to him as if he's here, as if he's like my best friend, um, someone that's just there for me. And I'll kind of just tell him like how I feel, like the situation that's going down, and I'll pray for other people. Um, there's many times where I have like this weird calling or like this feeling or like I will think about somebody um, one of my friends or just like someone I pass on the street for instance and I feel like I need to pray for them so I'll do that and um, when my anxiety levels get extra high I think that's the one of the things that definitely helps and kind of just casting all like the quote said just casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you and I don't think um, keeping your anxieties inside and um, if you feel like you have no one else to talk to then there is always God. If you feel that situation where you don't have anyone, then there is God to tell like your problems to. I feel like some things, sometimes there's just things that you feel the most comfortable in praying with God and then sometimes he shows you an opportunity to tell your friends or your family about it. Kind of working through your problem or um, the feelings you're feeling with God first and he um, tends to reveal um, ways in which to approach it, solve it. Sometimes you don't need to go to other people. I'm not saying to ever um, block out your friends or family in not telling them things about your life or what you're going through, but just knowing that God is the one person that you can tell no matter what, and he's not gonna judge you no matter what. Aside from praying, if you just wanna relieve anxiety in general, um, or if you find yourself in like an anxiety attack, I know just sitting there like reflecting, um, taking some deep breaths and just like slow your heart rate down helps a lot. Also, um, for me, I also like to listen to music or just completely do nothing. Sit there, listen to music, and just try to release some of that tension you're feeling with anxiety. Also, like fuel into your passion. For instance, I love drawing and art of any kind. I feel that when I'm drawing, painting, and doing anything art related that a lot of the worldly pressures or like things I'm feeling will come out into my art and it will like feel really good to just like let it out in that way. I don't think you always need to let your anxiety out or what you're stressing about in words. Ultimately, I just want you to remember going into this week that God's always there to talk to. Um, he's always someone you can 
dish out all your problems, um, gossip with, I don't know, gossip's not good, but um, just chat with him first. And if any of you guys are feeling any anxiety right now, I'm going to pray for you all. And uh, I know you'll get through anything you're feeling. And if you do need anything, um, leave a comment below or message me, whatever. And I'm here for all of you guys. And I just want you to have an amazing week. And if you are going into finals week, you can do it. You're going to kick butt. And as always, I will see your beautiful faces on Wednesday. Bye!